In today's Madden 21 tip breakdown, I'm going to be showing you how to stop one of the best runs, I think the best run in Madden NFL 21, uh, and we're going to show you how to stop it in the backfield for a loss. Now, this is a sellout run defense. It's actually not really a sellout run defense, honestly. It's it's a run defense that um, you just need to know what you're vulnerable to, okay? So we'll jump into this in just a second, but before we do, my name's Cody. I want to thank you for taking the time to watch today's video. If you're brand new to the channel, what we do here is Madden 21 tips and tricks. We give you some food to chew on, some thought. And um, we do four tips breakdowns every single day. So if you're interested in getting those free tips, uh, just go ahead and click the subscribe button at the bottom right-hand corner of your screen. All right, guys, I don't know about you, but I feel like with some of the patches that have just come out, um, Madden has been doing some things under the hood that I don't think that they've either disclosed or um, that they have actually explained. And what, what I mean by that is I feel like the um, – run game is is getting buffed um and not necessarily the stretch run um, but basically every other run in the game if you have i form h type which we're in the las vegas playbook which is if you're a run based player um i think it is still the best playbook that you can use if you like to run the ball um but basically what we're going to go over is we're going to go over a couple of key runs here but essentially what they've done especially in this year's madden is they've made it really really effective to pull guards so the power o in my opinion is the clear-cut best run in madden at least right now um with you know maybe a couple of other runs that are close in it but all of which are probably in this playbook for example the uh single back wing flex close half back uh half back pitch half back toss weak um is very very effective the single back wing tight um is actually i think this might be a very slept on package but, man, I played somebody the other day that ran this uh, wing tight, and it was similar to this wing tight U, I believe. But the halfback power O from wing tight U is really hard to shoot with your user. Um, and so this is really good. And the dive from this, ironically, is actually really, really hard to shoot, especially from the big nickel over G, um, which has been kind of the, the main run defense that most people have used. So, anyways, I want to break this down. This is I-form H tight, and we're going to come out in power O. Now, I still believe very firmly that – the nickel package is the best package to run, whether you're going to be running big nickel or you're going to be running nickel 335. And this is primarily why I wrote my defensive ebook on the 46 playbook. It's primarily to be able to take advantage of these nickel packages because basically what these nickel packages offer you the ability to do is they offer you the ability to put in safeties at these positions to allow you to have more speed on the field for when you try to defend the pass. That being said, we're going to focus today on the nickel normal and the defense we're going to use is the double safety blitz. Um, now, this is a defense that is very, you know, sim friendly, I guess, if you would say. You don't have to make a lot of adjustments to make this very, very effective. So, uh, anyways, we're going to come out in double safety blitz. And you're going to see these safeties are going to come down into the box. Now, if they are going, if you think they're going to pass the ball, um, I would recommend you putting them on purple zones. And then basically shading your coverage outside and over top. If you think they're going to run the ball, then I, uh, especially if you think they're going to run inside, then I would put them on spies. Okay, but all we're going to do is we're going to put the safeties on something. We're either going to put them in zone or we're going to put them in uh, spies. Then we're going to crash the line out, and then we're just going to stand kind of right in this little pocket right here with Devin White. We want the blitz angle to be going in between and putting on a blitz, and we want the blitz angle to be going in between the left guard and the center. And like I said, if you wanted to, you could take that backside safety and man him up on the fullback if you want to, um, or if you want to put him in a purple, that's fine as well. And all we're going to do with the snap of the ball is we're literally just going to run straight down. Now, I'm going to be a little bit delayed because I am using two controllers here, so just bear with me if this does not go well. But let's just take a look at this. So you're just going to run straight, th straight down, and there you see that was a little bit you know, of that switching of the controllers got to me a little bit there. But again, you're just going to run literally straight in between the center and the left guard that's where your aiming point is for your shoot and um, I find this to be best honestly I was I was messing around with this out of big nickel over G and to be quite honest with you big nickel over G I don't know if they've patched it or what but I've had a little bit more of a hard time shooting with this but as you can see I'm getting an instant hit stick three yard loss if they run power over to the right now in my opinion power is actually better flipped so and what I mean by flipped is when you flip the play with your running with your quarterback so, because most people, you know, that have any common sense are going to set their shoot up like I just did, and they're going to be able to shoot this thing in the backfield. Um, the, the, the problem lies 
with, you know, basically the um, the them flipping the run in my opinion because you're still going to get really good blocking. This one, this is what makes I form tight so good. Um, as you can easily flip this play. But if you see here, you see you're going to do the same shoot. You're going to be able to run right down the middle, and that pulling guard is not going to get you because the um, uh, because of the run fit um, and where the players are on the run fit. Um, this is going to allow this because these safeties are technically in the run fit because they're blitzing. That's what's going to really help this play out. Now the outside corners are certainly not in the run fit, but they're in man coverage, so they're going to come down at the snap of the ball. Um, I like to pass commit uh, every single time just because I don't want to, you know, you know, I don't want to me get messed with anything from play action perspective. I think it actually helps the run defense, to be quite honest with you. Uh, but anyway, here's flip power O. You're just going to run straight down. Now if you get if you get caught up, if you get caught up right there. The one thing that I like to do on this, um, again, if you get caught up, that's where you know putting these guys in uh, hard flats or even cloud flats, you know, can be very beneficial because cloud flats um, compared to curl flats this year, I think the flat zone is much much more effective for um, run defense. So we'll show you this flipped again. You'll see they should shoot out to the sideline there, and that's kind of your last line of defense um, for this running play. Now, if you leave the safety, uh, now let me just show you what happens if you leave, if you put them on spies, just to kind of show you that as well. So if you put them on spies, um, you run the ball to the right, you're going to get the same shoot. But if you, if you miss or if you get picked up, you're going to have a lot more people there to be able to make a play on the ball. Um, and then let's show you to the left. So we just flip the play here. I'm blitzing right down. Uh, again, you want to make sure, you kind of want your blitz angle to be kind of right in here so if you can kind of set this up where you're in that little pocket that's perfect world uh, and you see there I can get that shoot now uh, for whatever reason if they break a tackle what I like to personally do instead of hit sticking because I actually have not seen a lot of hit stick fumbles in the backfield um, I think that you know you're more likely to get a hit stick fumble from the computer than you are from yourself this year so instead of using you know myself as a hit stick I'm just gonna click off and let the computer tackle him um, and you know, just let it let it be that. Uh, if he has enforcer, or if he has, you know, if you have an enforcer on him, that's one thing. I highly recommend um, if you're playing mutt to make sure that you're using the out my way ability on your players. Uh, I think that is like the most important ability to have on your user this year, um, just because of how dang effective the run is. But as you see, if when they run to the left side, the shoot is not as consistent. But it's still felt relatively consistent. If you leave this safety on the left side, just so you know, like we could turn this into a cover one, basically. So everybody's manned up. We're shading outside over top so it doesn't get burned on a streak or anything. But basically, if they run to the left, if you leave that safety blitz out there, he's going to he's gonna basically blow that up. And I shouldn't have clicked onto him like I did. But you'll see that safety is going to kind of hold the edge for you if you leave him on that blitzing angle. So these are just some little ways that you can kind of hang a, a little bit with this with this run play uh, again I personally just from what I've seen um, this is this is a really really um, tough run to stop uh, let's see here snap of the ball you see how that safety is going to come out and kind of hold that contain right there for you so you can do that as well um, within within this play but anyways guys uh, let me know what you think of this run defense how you're feeling against the run right now uh, personally I'm much much more concerned that Madden is shifting back to a run meta. Um, but, you know, I'm hopeful that we can kind of get some cook up some defense here. I'm in the lab. I'm going to be in the lab all day working on run defense. Uh, had a couple games played, uh, especially in head-to-head. -head. In my opinion, in head-to-head, -head, it is actually really difficult to stop the run because you don't have um, that, you know, most of the teams that you're going to be using, if you use the Packers or you use the Chiefs or you use the – uh, 49ers even I, I don't think that you can get that out my way ability I think the only team that you can get that with is the Seahawks so we might be shifting back to a Seahawks meta especially as their offense continues to get better um, for regs but for mutt I definitely highly highly recommend I know a lot of people are saying strip specialists in my opinion I was watching young Tony uh, today uh, the Chiefs club champion and I think he's dead on. You need to be having out my away abilities, at least on your user. Uh, if you have out my away, out my way on your blitzing slot corner from the big nickel over G, that will also significantly help your run defense because the fullback is basically going to be obsolete at that point. 
But I also will be interested to see if people who are a little bit more run oriented um, shift to a little bit more of a um, you know maybe a, a, a ability based offense or with their fullback or something like that. I've seen people still running a lot of abilities on the wide receivers. Um, as we get better receivers and as the meta is starting to, I think, kind of turn into a little bit of what it was in Madden 20, um, especially with how effective Noah was in his club championship uh, game with his running scheme uh, out of this book, I think that you're going to see a little bit of a shift. So anyways, guys, if you want more of these tips, if you want more of the higher level tips of this, uh, I have a 50 minute defense where I show you how to stop every single run in Madden 21. Um, you can get that video completely for free. Just text me. Um, that, that comes with being a part of a text my text message membership, uh, which is completely free to join. Literally, all you have to do is pull your cell phone out, send me a text message. My number is 812-216-3644. Also, if you guys have not already picked up the defensive ebook, I would highly, highly encourage you to do that. Um, we go through nickel normal, nickel 335, nickel 335 wide, big nickel over G, 46 defense uh, normal bear and bear under and we also go through three four bear and I believe that we might be adding some dollar three three six stuff but most people um, are coming out in two wide receivers uh, one two running backs and one tight end sets so in case you come out in a dollar or a dime one four six they can audible down to an iPhone close or something like this so uh, anyway all that to say um, those are some things for you guys to check out if you haven't joined the discord there is a link to that in, as well in the description. Our next YouTube video for the day will be posted at 4 o'clock p.m. Eastern Time. Uh, in case you want to come back and catch the premiere of that, um, we'll be going live tonight at 10 o'clock p.m. Eastern Time. And until uh, we come back, there's going to be some videos that are going to pop up on your screen here in just a second that you can check out for more Madden 21 tips and tricks.